Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel Day, July 7th, 2022 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, a warning not to be scammed by anybody pretending to be me or any other readers offering you a reading, asking you for money, please just be very cautious. Also, if you hear any fireworks going on in the background, I do apologize. The sun is not down, so there shouldn't be, but people are, you know, celebrating early. All right, so now let's clear our energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see what energy we have to be mindful of on this angel day. Well, let's talk for a moment about this angel day before we begin with the cards. Now, July 7th is the number 77. So this angel day is of the number 77 and is the repeat of the number seven, which amplifies the power of seven, which is a highly spiritual number. It embodies our inner wisdom, our intuition, our understanding, our discernment, our inner strength, our tenacity, our spirituality, our spiritual wisdom, and our spiritual awakening. It is a number that brings our divine purpose forward. The number 77, and thus this day, all right, is telling us that we've listened to that divine wisdom and now it's time to put it into practice. This day has us a bit more us than we might even be comfortable with or we had even expected. So let's see the energy we are to be mindful of. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. We have the three of pentacles, okay? It's very interesting because there is a sense of, like, I want the people to help me, right? And we're thinking, okay, they're going to help us move forward the way that we want them, we, we want to. But a lot of the work is going to be on our own shoulders. It's like, we have to do this. We're going, we have to be mindful because we're going to be waiting for other people to really like bear the load. And it's like, no, this is on you. And I don't mean that to stress us out or freak us out, but there's more to you, Scorpio, than what you have imagined. And as you like kind of take the reins and really embrace your own creativity, your own spark, your own beauty, you'll be surprised at what comes forward because Lord knows everybody else will. You know, it's just going to be rather funny. It moves us to our chakra energy. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Ooh, goodness. Okay, we have listening, which is the, what we also have. Okay, spirits like this one too. Okay. We also have, we have the, look at this, the throat chakra and the soul star chakra. So the throat chakra here is listening. Listen. Listen to yourself. Listen to the world around you. Take time for quiet moments. Also, if you can embrace something like a, a craft or, you know, just a time like going for a walk or, or bicycling or, or something like that, where you can just listen to the world around you and listen to your own thoughts, that's going to be a really beautiful thing. So often we think of the throat chakra and we think of talking and our world is full of talking and noise. And yet so many people don't listen. So just be aware. It's, it's time. That, that can be like a superpower. Then we have the soul star chakra. This is soul's healing. We are healing. We are being guided towards a, a level of calm, a level of beauty, a level of energy coming into us that is really quite centering and that is really quite extraordinary. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Okay. Oh, I love it when they just pop out like that. Angels and spirit guides. Ooh, okay. Fantastic. 
We have the repeat of the number two. Two is a romantic novel, number, yes, but it's also a balancing number. It's also a creative number. And there's there's a real sense of, of beauty coming forward. We're, we're going to see how to melt this into our lives, okay? How to balance it forward. That's going to be very important on this day. So we're starting off with the eight of swords. We start off with being just a bit too much in our own heads. We overthink, we overanalyze we can have this anxiety around us. Now I highly recommend, you know, if if we're if we're comfortable with it, taking herbs like GABA or taking, you know, rescue remedy or calms or, you know, lavender tea or chamomile tea, just things to really help release a lot of stress that we're carrying. Because there there is a sense here that we get into our own head and see this darkness. And it's it's going to start off and it might have been around us for, for quite some time. It's holding us back in a certain area that we really want to move forward in. And it starts off as, well, I'm just tired, or I didn't sleep well, or I have allergies, or, you know, there's a lot that I'm, I'm juggling and balancing. And so it becomes very logical, like why it's here at first, but it just doesn't go away. And it just feels like it's tightening around us and tightening around us. So just be very aware of this during this time that we're going to have a tendency to be our own worst enemy by being way too much in our own heads. It moves us to the Five of Cups. Because we are in our own heads, we have a tendency to look at what isn't going right. This is where Spirit says, change your mind and change your life. Look at the healing, beautiful love that is around you. There is you, there is this beauty. We need to focus on the beauty and not just focus on the sorrow because the sorrow can become very overwhelming. And we need to look at things and say, okay, I, I see this. It's not living in, in, in La La Land. You know, it's not being a total fantasist, but it is very much saying to ourselves, I see the pain and I see what has happened that I cannot change or the hurt or the things that I, I just can't fix. They're, they can be broken. They can have been broken a long time ago. But I see the love and the healing that is around me. I see the beauty that is a part of me. And even if it's just sitting outside and hearing the birds singing or opening up the windows and hearing the birds singing, it's it's being able to call that beauty into our lives, into our lives, slowly and gradually and, and purposefully. It leads us to the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is the doors are opening. There's, there's a sense of an adventure coming. And as that adventure comes, it's like, well, where will I go? What will I do? Like, where do I want to be? And that's a really powerful question for us, Scorpio, because we tend to to embrace the emotions of the world. We tend to be the observer and the person who walks in, in, in the in-between, like in the shadows. We'd rather have people be upfront and honest with us. And we get very discouraged when, when they're just not. So here, with the, with the two of, of wands, we're starting to see new doorways open to us. We're starting to see new opportunities coming forward. It's like, this is what we want. And yet we haven't been able to put it into words before. We hadn't been able to realize how we wanted to move forward or where we wanted to go or what we wanted to be. And now it's like, okay, now the door opens. It moves us to the ace of wands. There's creative energy that comes forward. So Scorpio, especially, oh gosh, I forget where in the natal chart our creativity lies. Oh my gosh. So Scorpio, I just see you feeding that creativity, feeding that creativity. If you know, leave it in the description box below because I, I just I just do not remember. But there's a sense of this passion, this beauty, this 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 power guiding us forward, illuminating us. It's like it's it's light, it's light, it's light coming in. And that's going to be so beautiful because we do have those doubts and those fears that have come forward that we've been overthinking, over analyzing. And now with the with the ace of wands, there's a real sense of beauty, there's a real sense of of, of power and insight and ideas coming forward, God, source, spirit, however you see the divine, the universe is, is illuminating a new path. It's illuminating a path for us where we're like, oh, but this is what I needed. Like, this is what I wanted. Like, there's an excitement here and it almost feels like we're coming home. This is the reason we get out of bed in the morning and that could have been being tested. So on this angel day where we, again, are being more ourselves than we usually are, we're looking at the chaos that we've carried and we're saying, I'm, I'm walking out of that doorway. And I'm, I'm seeing new opportunities come my way. Now, we've been trying to balance everything. And that can be one of the reasons why we are so stressed out. Because we're trying to balance everything. We're trying to do everything for everyone. Or even just get everything situated for ourselves. And we're forgetting about us. So this is saying, yeah, you can do everything for everyone. But balance you as well. Balance you as well. Let the happiness come in. Let the beauty come in. There might be things that we have to say no to. Which we're not going to want to. Because we're going to think, oh, the more I do, the more I have. And yet... If we get burnt out and overwhelmed, we're not going to be able to have what we really want. So that's going to be very important here as well, that we need to make sure that we are on stable ground for ourselves. And then we can take on more and more. Then we can balance more. 
and then we can also say, you know what, this is done. This can be handled by somebody else. You know, I can take on a new project. A Ten of Pentacles. Prosperity, success, bounty. This is the completion of a cycle when it comes to money. But it doesn't mean that we have to have, you know, reach those goals and, and climb those heights. It can be that we realize, like, oh, this is what I value as much as money. You know, this is where I want to be. Or this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm successful at. You know, this is where my skills lie. Why was I fighting it before? Because other people didn't understand me? Because I was afraid? You know, because I was, I was overwhelmed? Here, we have to understand, there are many different types of people in the world. Some people, you know, branch out on their own. Some people don't. Some people are perfectly happy, you know, doing something a little bit more mundane. Some people aren't. We look at ourselves and we're going to see a completion of wealth and prosperity and abundance. And it's as we become more profoundly comfortable with us. We might have our job, right? It pays the bills, but we have the thing on the side that, that feeds our heart, that inspires our soul. This is going to be a time where we're, we're looking at all of this and we're seeing the completion of the wealth of us. We're seeing what we need and what we desire and, and how we move forward and, and where it is that we need to be for us. It moves us to our subconscious energy to be mindful of. This is the Seven of Cups. We need to be mindful of getting lost in the beauty of daydreaming or of just dreams. It's like the shouldas, the couldas, the wouldas, the what ifs, the, the idea of what we could have instead of what we do have. We need to look at what we are and where we are and not compare ourselves or, yeah, not compare ourselves to anybody else or even to, to imagine that it could always be better, it could always be better. In the right now, let us see what we want, but also let us embrace the art of imagining. You know, I have linked in the description box below this book, The Law and the Power. There's also a book by the same person. It's also on, on YouTube. The, um, the Secret is Feeling, or Feeling is the Secret. I think that's it. Feeling is the Secret, where it's the imagination, the, the embrace of the emotions. That is the secret to us moving forward in the way that we want to. There's a sense of a, 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 a blind trust that we have in, in embracing our world. I know it sounds weird, and I know it sounds, you know, like... like a vision board or, or, or just saying you'll manifest it, but it's starting with truly believing it. Here, it's being caught up in the dream of what might once be instead of what we have manifested within our lives, what we do imagine, and, and being in the moment of now. And that's going to be really important. It's going to be really important because I almost see this as Narcissus. You know, in the story of Narcissus, is he drowns himself in, in the water because he falls in love with his own reflection. We're falling in love with dreams that, that aren't yet instead of seeing dreams that are coming true or the way that we are moving forward even if it does feel like our dreams are so far away we have little moments of success that we are we're overlooking because we want the big we want the big like lottery win instead of the small little bounties and successes that are a part of our lives right now it moves us to our subconscious you know tarot message which chakra message which is life purpose that's what this day is all about our throat chakra here as we speak our life purpose that's what it is all about it's embracing the beauty and the tenacity and 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 the light of us and it's letting us shine it moves us to our subconscious tarot energy and it's the emperor which is ooh, sorry that is a very big firecracker that just went off um firework just went off and it is the emperor and the emperor is saying that there is power and authority to us let us embrace being the general of our world. The sacred masculine energy comes forward very beautifully. Let us rise in this power. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace this angel day. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Scorpio, and may you have a blessed angel day.